So what I'd like to do for today is I have these existing elements already, but I want to add some new items in. So you may have guessed based on the cauldron uh, icon that I use that there's a little bit of a paranormal theme to my Glenmire Wind Mysteries. However, in the latest book, my main character, Hazel, gets some animal companions, and I want to incorporate that into my logo as well, um, because having that, um, you know, especially in the cozy mystery genre, people love pets. People love pets in general. Um, and that's one thing on social media that I always find is very uh, engaging and a successful post is whenever you post about your pet. Um, and so I want to make sure that I'm highlighting the fact that my series has pets in it um, so that I get readers who are interested in that particular subject matter. And so what I'm going to do is take some elements from Canva's library and begin to incorporate that into um, my logo design. So the first pet that I'm going to add in is a cat. And I'm going to be looking at graphics because I have a graphic that is pretty um, that is uh, the, like the vector almost cartoon illustration like. So I want to make sure that I'm leaning in that direction. Um, but it's also very uh, monochromatic with the colors that are presented. So I'm not going to have a very detailed uh, image added into the mix. But let's see. Let's start. I'm going to start here with this cat and put him behind my cauldron, not too shabby. I'm going to keep this cat. And I'm going to, because my cat is gray in the book, I might just keep him black for that contrast. Let's move there. OK, now my dog that I want to have kind of framing the other side. Um, let's see. This one is going to be a little trickier because Hazel's dog is a mixed breed. And it is mixed with a corgi and a border collie. So it's a short, long-bodied dog, similar to a pet that I may or may not know. Um, so I'm actually going to, in, instead of just searching dog, I'm going to type in corgi because a corgi is kind of the, sh the shape that I want to get out of here. Um, good, they give me more options here because maybe I can get one with her sitting. Oh, perfect. And let's flip. This is perfect. To back. All right. So I have my dog and my cat added into my logo. And because of how the dog is positioned, see how the, her nose is like very, very close to my cauldron. I think to balance out the image, I'm going to swap these guys around. So I'm going to flip my cat this way and have the kitty on this side. And then flip my dog back here. Perfect. 